Hello, this is Zephy Zeldord12345, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. Last time, we were invited to the magical city of Agolus, and we're here, but now we're trapped under the sea. So, now we're going to be teleporting through this place to get to our visitor. Wait, not visitor. The guy who visited us. Oh god, I forgot about this guy. Not at all. But I don't get why it's saying rough like that. Is it supposed to be funny? Alright. Well, that helps. Thanks, we really needed that. Uh, you should be good. Wait, that's a baby? Hmm. Well, wow. uh, what do you mean, psychedelic bomb? That sounds interestingly destructive. Well, let's head on. Yeah, this place is littered with teleporters, so. Get used to that teleporting sound. And this is far from the last time we're gonna hear it. And more fire elemental items, which can be nice, but... Well, it's about to become obsolete. You'll see. I forget if this is the path to the plot or the path to treasure. I still can't tell. Okay, this led to treasure. Good. And a magical hat. This is really good. I think I'm gonna put that on Dart. There it is. Yeah, increases max MP by 50%, in addition to increasing his magic stats by quite a lot. Yeah, you see that boost? An extra 20 magic defense from what I could have. Or 13. Whatever, you know it's big. And in here... Another Moon Serenade. I might end up selling it, but we'll see. Ah, we get this battle theme back. It's been a while. And okay, we got a couple of new enemies. A Scud Shark, which I don't care about, and the Aqua King, which... is an interesting foe. The Scud Shark really doesn't have anything much to him. And as you saw, I equipped the Heat Blade on Dart, so that way we can annihilate most of these enemies. Okay, I think he has about 700 HP, and he didn't do anything. Okay, I want to show off what he can do, but he's not going to let me. Uh, I know I have my team on speed boosting equipment, but wow. They didn't even get a turn in. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if I should have farmed that bandit's ring back on disc 1. I still don't regret it, but I'm not really showing off what the enemies can do. 
I've been thinking about not showing off the new enemies even if they can do something new because, well, what you're seeing is kind of the same thing, just me annihilating them before they can do anything. They very rarely do anything special. Except for that Aqua King. I want to see you know, what he can do, because I was looking at the at a bestiary before recording, and his move set's kind of weird. You know what? I'm gonna defend and see if I if that resource was right. Okay. Okay, he's doing magical attack barrier. Yeah, he has both physical and magical attack barrier to protect himself for as long as he can. And Meru got two turns in a row, that's what 110 speed can do. Okay, he's using power up. Now, normally you want to try to kill an enemy as soon as possible or stun him with a magic signet stone when it does that. Because that means they're going to do a really brutal attack. But, no, he's using physical attack barrier again. Yeah, this is what I discovered about this guy. He can't attack, apparently. According to what I read, he has a stab attack, but he never uses it. I don't really get it, and I didn't really believe it when I read it, but... He's not attacking at all. So now I'm inclined to believe it. I can't tell if the power-up is still in effect. Well, it's good to see that Rod Typhoon leveled up and it is still in effect. Dang it! Yeah, that's a rough counterattack. This is another reason I've been thinking of cutting out a ton of the battles, even if they're with new enemies. What you're seeing right now is pretty much all there is to it. Even if they do have some unique ability, chances are it's not really going to use it. The Aqua King was a special case though, I'm glad I showed him off. Okay, we're in a room with no enemies. Hi there. Does every creature here have some sort of ending to their sentences that refers back to their name? I don't get it. Magic creatures, huh? You've told us that a few times already, but what is a psychic delic bomb in moot? And did he just say that we're the source of power? Uh, okay. Yeah, they're kind of annoying. But at least they left us this chest. I don't really care about an angel prayer right now, and how do you gather courage? That seems kind of weird to me. Okay, I think this is the teleporter to the chest. Yup, looks like it. That doesn't take us anywhere. Now he's nowhere that I care about. But we get a Sun Rhapsody. And that was a waste of teleporting. But yeah, let me know what you think of how I can handle the rest of the random battles in the game. Because there's really not much to them after all of this. Indeed.
Seems like it. Yes. Well, that sounds crappy. Crap. Okay. Why didn't you call Rose for those thousands of years? Well, he was able to see us from the city. I'm not sure what he was using to see us, but what was this thing? Don't know how exactly it works, but we'll just assume that he can watch the in watch the entire world from that thing. Stalker. God damn it. Well, at least now I know there are items that I don't care about. Let's get rid of the burnout. And open the chest now. And another healing item. Well, that was easy. Dart just one-shotted that enemy. This guy looks... interesting. I don't think I've ever seen him before. But uh, let's see if he can survive. No, he's dead. Or not. Never mind. Okay, I'm curious as to what he can do. Not really that much. He did hit kind of hard, but not really much. And he's down. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking of just editing out most of the battles. I didn't really add much to it. And, no, I don't care about that item. Uh, yeah, goodbye. Yeah, the menu commands there were kind of confusing. It just says discard, end, but what exactly does that mean? And, no way, we can get to that chest later. Just not now. Okay, it does. That was pointless? Okay, I want to get to that chest. And let's go here. Or be interrupted. Okay, we have an Aqua King and a Minotaurus. This guy's a little interesting, but not too much. This is basically the only enemy here that actually puts up something of a fight. Dang it! Why didn't you spin more, Albert? Anyway... Yeah, I'll show off what he can do a bit. I'm probably going to be hit pretty hard, but... Eh, it can't be that bad. And as you saw there, he's Earth Elemental, so the Heat Blade is not going to do much. Well, he did more damage than I thought. And he did over 300 damage to Albert, which is... Quite a bit. I think he may have done about 400 to dart. 
Anyway, that's long enough, so I'm gonna stun him now. He does have a couple of devastating attacks. He usually has to charge up for them, but he can do an all-out attack, which is a much stronger physical attack. And he also has a roar that can inflict fear on everyone. And I don't think I needed the magic Saint stone. I would've killed him anyway. It didn't seem like he got a turn before then. Okay, now let's use this teleporter. And take this detour. I'm not sure why those two teleporters are off to the side like that. It doesn't really add much to the puzzle. If you can even call this a puzzle. Okay, goodbye Gushing Magma. You were fun back in Disc 1. I don't think I used you in Disc 2, but you're no longer needed. A Healing Rain on the other hand. I don't know if you can buy them, so hold on to as many Healing Rains as possible. It restores everyone's HP to max, and yeah, just the sound of that is really good. How many do I have right now? I think I have three. Let's see. Nope, just two. But while I'm in here, I'm going to discard a healing fog. You want to have an item slot open. Just saying. And that wish is... Oh, hey there. And wait for what? Well, that's good at least. Hmm. So, immortality is just really easy to access in this world. At least for Wingleys. Crap. Well, that's interesting. But it took you 4,000 years to notice the black monster. I know that Rose only attacks every 108 years, but still, you should have noticed a pattern beforehand. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that earlier. Not sure if you could call it fighting, but in a sense, yeah. Savan is kind of interesting, but... I wish he had some more screen time. And wow, that frame rate! But yeah, with Seven... I would think of him as a more interesting character if we saw him more often. Because we haven't really known about him if for about... What was it? 15 minutes now? And we only just met him. So yeah... He doesn't really do much to me. Without heart? What is this, Kingdom Hearts?
Will do.